Tonight, the council needs to consider action on the final step in the annual budget process for the city's truth in taxation hearing, a public hearing required by the state. A truth in taxation hearing happens when any of the following takes place. The city raises property taxes, there's a property tax stabilization, or there's a judgment levy. Judgment levy. This year, the city used both a judgment levy and property tax stabilization, but did not raise property taxes. Although the hearing is a formal step required by the state, the council is always interested in hearing from the public. Feedback from the public helps the council make decisions in future budgets or even amendments to this year's budget. However, if you've received your property tax assessment and wish to protest, please contact Salt Lake County or visit its appeals webpage. Um, Taylor Hill on our staff will be calling the names of those who wish to comment and unmuting lines. So um, the only public hearing item right now in this is the truth and taxation hearing for fiscal year 2021-2022. Before we move to any comments, I will turn the time over to Jen Bruno for a brief introduction. She thought she was getting off the hook. <laughs> Madam Chair, you actually did a great job kind of framing um, why we're in this hearing. So I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> Great, Taylor, um, we will turn to you for any comments uh, on this item. Council Chair, it looks like we have one person here to speak to this item, um, and that will be George Chapman. George, you are unmuted. Wonderful. Okay, I don't know how to respectfully say this, but I will try. If a resident is getting a $1,000 property tax increase bill, the city, the county, the state tax commission, and others are involved in it. So this city should be concerned and report where the $1,000 extra property tax is going. Telling people to go to the county assessor is disrespectful because there are a whole bunch of others really involved. So where is the extra $1,000 going? This city's citizens deserve more information about where this tax increase is going, especially if the tax rate doesn't change. But in this case, I believe the truth in taxation hearing also does have a tax increase included. So I am against any tax increase since based on all the projects I see around the city, this city is rolling in cash, even though it defers basic maintenance, it's rolling in cash. So I'm against any tax increase. Those are my comments. And that was our final comment for this. Thank you, George, for commenting. And thank you, Taylor. With this, I will look for a motion. Taylor, um, if she can share the motion sheet it's to close the public hearing. And there's a step um, that the council needs to do essentially to ratify the budget that you adopted in June. Um, it's just a, a funny step in the truth and taxation process where even though you finalize the budget in June from a truth and taxation process, that's not final, final until this step. Okay. The council members see the motion sheet. I will look for a motion. Madam Chair. I move the council close the public hearing and adopt an ordinance establishing the final tax, final rate of tax levy, including the final levy for the library fund upon all real and personal property within Salt Lake City, made taxable by law for fiscal year 2021 to 2022 and ratify the budget as adopted by the council. Second. I have a motion by council member Mono and a second by council member Wharton. I'll roll call this council member Mono. Yes. Council Member Voldemoros? Yes. Council Member Wharton? Yes. Council Member Rogers? Yes. Council Member Dugan? Yes. Council Member Ferris? Yes. yes. And I am a yes, and that passes unanimously. Um, this concludes this formal, limited formal city council meeting, and we will adjourn this meeting and go back as city council. And if I need to make a motion for that or ask for a motion, somebody needs to tell me, please.